When I came to DuPont, I was happy as I could be. And I knew down inside that they take care of me. Years have passed since these friends worked together at the DuPont plant in Brevard, North Carolina, a place that meant more than a paycheck. Working at DuPont was a way of life. The plant was nestled in the middle of what is now DuPont Recreational Forest. DuPont was seeking abundant land and clean water. Western North Carolina had it. Well, when I got out of the service in 1956, actually, uh, DuPont had just purchased the property, and they were going, I heard they were going to build a, a plant there to produce silicon. And I went to work right away with them on construction, clearing the site to build a plant. Well, it just, it was a talk of the town, really. That's going to be a place for a lot of, they're going to hire a lot of people. DuPont started in 1958, operating the first full-scale silicon plant in the United States. When the silicon market dried up, the company quickly shifted to medical x-ray film. At its peak, DuPont employed about 1,500 people. Initially, the property surrounding the plant was off-limits to employees, but eventually, management allowed workers to establish the DuPont Employees Recreation Association. Once a year, we had a plant picnic here at the Guyon Farm, about a mile above where we are right now. We did everything in the world from foot races, cross cut sewing, pie eating contests, you name it, we had it. Having a better life at DuPont also extended to money management. Bank loans came with very high interest. This bothered Don Surratt. He researched how to start a credit union and got support from Bob Cantrell in accounting. So we had our first organizational meeting at the auditorium in Vard High School. And the credit union people explained how credit unions worked. And uh, that's how uh, DuPont Employees Credit Union was started and was chartered in March of 1974. The credit union started in a broom closet inside the plant, but soon expanded to an office outside. I didn't know about a credit union, but they, like I said, they encouraged me to join the credit union, that sort of thing. So I, I did, and I applied for a loan, and they explained to me that I had not had enough time to really get this loan. So I went back to um, the department and telling some of the guys, you know, I'll have to wait before I can get a loan, and that sort of thing. So a guy that didn't know me but about five months said, hey, what do you need? I said, well, I was needing a co -sign. He said, I'll co-sign for you. You know, I was very appreciative toward that, but after a while, I realized that that's, everybody was willing to, willing to help everybody up there. In the beginning, when I started, there was less than a million dollars uh, in assets. And I remember it was probably three or four years uh, before we reached a million dollars in assets. And then after that, it just seemed to get faster and faster. And um, we would celebrate each goal that we reached. While the credit union grew, DuPont was faced once again with a declining market for its product. When we began to hear talk about the plant closing, we began to uh, take some action as far as really talking about what we needed to do and where we wanted to be. And um, we began by changing our name from DuPont Employees to Carolina Mountains. The newly named Carolina Mountains Credit Union expanded into the community, first with a small office in Brevard, then with branches in Hendersonville and Penrose. A merger with another local credit union was the beginning of a branch in South Asheville. We knew we needed to be innovative, and we feel like we were. We uh, had a website with online banking before we really even re knew what the Internet was all about. When DuPont sold to a company called Sterling, employees struggled to imagine life without DuPont. When DuPont announced that um, they were going to sell the plant, the morales kind of got low, but... We didn't really believe that uh, the company 
was going to sell. We really actually, we didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. Really, it changed hands two or three different times. <clears throat> and what I could see is a being a, a recreation director and over the property and stuff like that, it hurt me because I could see somebody else taking over a little part of the plant that, and then uh, DuPont started to sell off some, some of the property. And uh, it, it hurt. With only 270 employees remaining, the plant finally closed in 2002. Through it all, Carolina Mountains continue to serve its members. To stay strong and keep growing, the credit union merged with self-help in 2009. The Rossman office soon followed. And I'm still a member today of the credit union, even though the credit union has uh, changed its name to self-help. It's still that friendly, family-type atmosphere that I felt when I first went to the credit union 41 years ago. And I guess I'll be staying with the credit union until I, to the day that I die. And it goes, hear ye, oh, hear ye, everybody. DuPont's been good to me. They put teeth in my mouth, shoes on my feet. <laughs> hear ye, oh, hear ye. DuPont's been good to me. I even think about them when I lay down to sleep. Now, DuPont, I...